All right, in this video, we are going to load up the Stirling engine fixture. Um, you can find it right here. Um, and uh, I'm going to lift this up and put it onto the, the rolling cabinet here. Uh, you're gonna need uh, uh, two hands to do this job, so I'm gonna put my phone down um, and lift it up onto the table. All right, and I'm just gonna slide it gently over to this position. Okay, so there's a few areas of this fixture that we're going to be uh, loading. I'm gonna do the bearing supports, um, the hubs, and the brass components, the displacer bushing and the power cylinder. And we're also going to be loading up the uh, the top plate for engraving. So I'll start over here with the uh, with the uh, bearing supports. So the first step we need to do is move this bearing support to position three. So this is currently in position two and we're going to move position two to position three. I'll need a uh, allen key to undo the mighty bites uh, right here. You can see that the end of this Allen key has been ground and that's just to prevent you from tightening it using the long lever side because uh, it can damage the mighty bites. All right. So this sometimes takes a little bit of persuasion to get it out of here. Sometimes you have to take this one out first. There's a little bit of a position here where you can stick your finger under, but careful, there is a burr there to watch out for. Okay, so we'll take that out, and then this one is a little bit more easy to take out. All right, I'm just gonna put this one gently back to where it was. So position two is gonna go here to position three. Um, so there is a pin down here, and that's going to go through this hole in the bearing support. Uh, so undo this side clamp. There's a pin right here that uh, locates this horizontally. So we're going to put it onto that pin there. Uh, we're going to lock this one down and you should hear a click and then lock the side one down all right so you can see that this side in position one has a chamfer on it but no chamfer on this side so we're going to flip this component and we are going to put this hole into this top pin right here all right, and we're just going to push it down so that this, this surface is flat with the fixture. All right, if you see any chips or anything like that, just clear them out of the way so that they don't get underneath the part. Okay, so I have moved position two to position three and position one to position two. Now I need to load position one. So I'm gonna go over to the cart here and I'm going to grab uh, the stock located in this spot right here. Um, there's usually a little bit of a burr on this side here. I'm gonna have that uh, on the top surface here, okay? So that I can get this point, this flat surface right here, uh, nicely rested up against this pin. Okay, now sometimes the extrusion is a little bit uh, wider, and so this might be easy to press in by hand, um, but it, or it might be difficult. If it's a bit difficult, what you can do is you can grab a, a hammer and lightly tap it into place. Okay, so 
Uh, I'm right-handed, but I'll give my left hand a shot here. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, lightly tap these down just to make sure that they're uh, resting on the flat surface of the fixture and uh, against the pin here. Okay, so now it's time to tighten this one, these Mighty Bites. And it has to be snug, um, but about as much pressure as you can put on it is what you want to uh, achieve. Okay, so those are done now. Now we're going to move to the hubs. Okay, so I'm gonna need this Allen key, but I'll also need a different Allen key for this uh, screw right here. I'll take the, the biggest Allen key here, and I'm going to loosen off this. I'm gonna loosen off this screw. Take this out, maybe even do it by hand. Okay, so I see a bunch of chips here. I'm going to use some compressed air to blow it off. Compressed air is not working. So I'm going to go over to the wall here and turn it on. This is just right behind the mill that we're going to be using. to mill these parts out. Okay, so now I hear the compressed air, I'm going to spray all that, um, the chips off. Okay, so I'm going to move the flywheel hub to position two now. But first I need to loosen it off, loosen the mighty bite. Now these Mighty Bites are custom, they're purchased flat, but they've been custom milled to match the diameter of this component. So now I'm going to line up this hole right here, this threaded hole, with this pin right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take the balancing hub and I'm going to do the same thing. There's a threaded hole there. I'm going to line it up with that pin. Okay, then I'm gonna put this plate back onto the screw. I need to back it off a little bit yet. There we go. And I'm gonna tighten it back up. Okay, and about as much pressure as you can put onto that lever is, is sufficient. Okay, so I still see a few chips here. I want to clear this up before I put parts into these locations. Okay, so I'm going to get these parts to put into uh, the first position. All right, so you'll see that these parts are not the same as these ones. These ones have been milled and turned on a lathe. These ones have just been turned. So we're going to, the goal of this whole activity here is to fill up this row. All right, you can see that it's empty. We're gonna take a set of parts and we're gonna fill up this row here, as well as this hardware kit. Okay, so I'll take these parts with me. I'm just gonna set them aside right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the, uh, the flywheel hub into position. All right, and I'm going to put the balancing hub into position, just like that. Okay, and if I don't lock these down, they're gonna spin around as they're milled and damage the tools, fixture, and the part. Okay, so we don't wanna do that. So we have gotta make sure that we remember to 
to lock all of these mighty bites down. Okay. So now I'm going to do this one. Loosen it off slightly. Uh, I don't see any uh, chips in here. Um, so uh, I won't need to use any compressed air, but if you do see chips in there, make sure you get them out. Okay, so I'll put the uh, displacer bushing in now. And then I'm going to put the uh, uh, power cylinder in. But watch out, it's taped for a reason. There's a piston in there that is uh, a selective assembly. So these, this piston matches this power cylinder. And I don't want to drop that piston on the ground. Okay, I'm a little clumsy with just one hand here, so just bear with me. Okay, so I can just set that tape aside right there. I'll use it later. Okay, and I'm going to put this piston in a very safe spot. I'm going to put it into this container here. All right, and I need to re remember to put it back into the power cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to drop this in here just like that and tighten this down. Okay. So by the time that you see this fixture, this clamp may not be here. We're not using this. Okay, so if the fixture looks a little bit different, um, that's because we've removed this operation. We no longer do this operation. So, okay. Uh, now we need to put uh, uh, a top plate here. Uh, this might be loose, it might be tightened down, depends on the previous student. But I don't need these Allen keys anymore, so I'm going to put them back. All right, so in this one, I'm going to need this allen key on the far side here it's the smallest allen key that we have and i'm going to need these tray of screws okay so i'm going to undo this middle one and i'm just going to put it in this hole right here for safekeeping don't want to forget about that one that one's important this is a custom uh, washer that you see there. Okay, and now I'm going to reach into this bag here. This is a student that needs their flywheel engraved. Okay, and I want to I want to get the top plate. Okay, so this has already been anodized. That's why it's not gray. It is aluminum, but it's been anodized red. Um, okay, so I want to make sure that I see these grooves up. And so there's a pin here. I'm going to put this, align this pin with this hole, just like that. And then I'm going to put this back in, just like that. Uh, just kind of hand tight for now. And then I'm going to take each one of these screws here, and I'm going to uh, just put them in kind of lightly by hand to all of these hole locations. Now some of these screws, these, these threads are stripped. So by the time that you see this uh, video, you might have to do them all or, or it might not match. These tend to strip and I have to put Healy coils in. Okay, so this one is stripped. I'll have to repair this one. 
Um, but this is just loosely in here now. I need to tighten it down with this Allen key. So I'll do the center one first. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do kind of a uh, opposite sides here. I'm gonna tighten it down on this side and then go to this side and tighten it down. And then I'm gonna tighten this one down over here and tighten this one down. And then just kind of going back and forth. And about as much pressure as you can put on it is perfect. All right, and then for good measure, I'm just gonna go all the way around starting at the top. Just to make sure that they're all snug. Okay. They are all snug. Now at this point we can put these tools back. Into the drawer. Okay, so um, one last thing that you want to do is just make go over these mighty bites one more time just to make sure that everything is snug. All right. That one's snug, this one is snug, this one is snug, this one is snug. These toggle clamps are also snug, and this one may or may not be there, and it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's check this one too. Okay, so everything is locked down here, and at this point, you are ready to move on to the next video.